Hi, my name is John Davis, Diagnostic Sales Developer for Snap-on Tools out of the Southeast region. I want to talk to you today about diagnostic health scans and, and time spent in body shops here in the South Georgia area. I've learned a few things. The new vehicles that are coming out are getting more and more complex. They have up to 200 computers on board. The technology hill for cars and computers is only getting steeper. And scan tools like the Veris Edge are going to become integral in the daily lives of body shops, whether it be doing the pre and post diagnostic health scan, doing recalibrations for blind spot monitors, occupancy sensors, you name it, the hill is only getting steeper by the day. So right now is a good chance to start climbing that hill before it gets too steep. So recently in the diagnostic and collision industry, Manufacturers have been wanting you to do a pre and post diagnostic health scan. So what does that mean for you as a body shop? Well, first let's talk about why and what the manufacturers are wanting. GM says must be tested for diagnostic trouble codes, even for minor body damage or glass replacement. Even if there's been a small amount of damage, they want you to do a pre and post diagnostic health scan. Mopar says must be tested for fault codes, so they want you also to do a pre and post diagnostic health scan. Mercedes-Benz says all safety system codes must be diagnosed, repaired, and then cleared, so they're wanting a pre and post diagnostic scan as well. We've got Toyota Lexus Scion. Toyota strongly recommends that repairs perform a health check diagnostic scan before and after every repair to identify and document diagnostic trouble codes. It is the position of American Honda that all vehicles involved in a collision must have the following minimum diagnostic scans. And they are nice enough to actually spell it all out, exactly what they want done to their vehicles. Nissan it is necessary in most repair situations for the vehicle to have a pre and post repair system scan. So not as strong a language as say maybe GM or Mopar, but they're still wanting it done. So what does this mean? We've got the Veris Edge workstation. So with the Veris Edge workstation, it's really simple to do a pre and post diagnostic health scan. First of all, you've got your Bluetooth module that hooks up to the vehicle's computer remotely can get up to 30 feet away. And then after it's hooked up, you go to the scanner button, pick out the manufacturer. We're gonna hit demonstration. It's gonna take us to Chevrolet Tahoe. And it'll do an auto ID from that point. After you ID the vehicle, all you have to do is hit code scan. And what's happening here is it's scanning both sides of the computer, the OEM and the OBD2 side of the computer. So after the scan is complete, you can see all the different codes. And then you can save the scan to the computer for later. Then you can hit print. And this will either print it to a wired printer in the bay here. Or if you have a wireless printer in your office, it'll print directly to that wireless printer. Now the default of the Veris Edge is to print to a PDF. So when it prints to a PDF, you can drop it straight into your estimate. Now from there, we've got SureTrack up here. So if it's in the SureTrack database, you can actually look and see what other shops have done to fix these codes. So this is a fuel system two lean bank one. Based off of 811 repairs, it says that the most common repair is intake manifold gasket. Now, this is going into a database of over 400 million invoices from shops around the country. So we're gonna do a pre-diagnostic health scan on this 2016 Hellcat. First, we're gonna take our Bluetooth scan module, hook it up to the data link underneath the dash. Light's gonna come on saying that it's got connection. Turn the vehicle on and set the module up on the dash so you have maximum perception as well as you don't leave it in the car because it's on the dash. After you hook up the scan module to the vehicle, ID it, and then go to code scan. And it's going to be scanning both sides of the computer, the OEM and the OBD2 all at the same time. So here we are scanning. We've got transmission, analog brake system, amplifier. It's going to scan all these different modules. 
After it gets done scanning the vehicle, go to save. Save the scan to the device so you can look at it later. And then print. Here we've got the PDF printout of our pre and post diagnostic health scan. We've got our shop name, time and date of when the vehicle got scanned, vehicle information, and all the systems that got scanned for that vehicle. So this is what the OEMs and the insurance companies are looking for. When you scanned it, what you scanned, and what codes are present after the scan. Outside of being able to just do the pre and post diagnostic health scan, you also have the capabilities to set up modules as well as do calibrations. Some of these vehicles are very sensitive when it comes to calibrations. Toyota, for instance, their occupancy sensor, if you hit the passenger seat hard enough with your hand, you'll actually throw off the calibration. Do you think an accident will throw off that calibration? Heck yeah, it will. So let's talk a little bit about module setup and recalibrations. For our demo vehicle here, we can go into airbag, and we see here we've got module set up. And it's got really simple, easy to follow directions to set up that module and get it ready to go back to the customer. Now, another great part of this tool is the four channel scope. Go to Gaia Components Test, US Domestic, 5.3 liter, okay. So you might ask, why does a body shop need a four channel scope? Well, there's a lot of reasons. You can go into body electric here, exterior lighting, headlight assembly, and component information. So body shops often find themselves in a predicament between getting bad parts from the part house or something damaged in the wiring harness. So when you get to that position, did you get another bad part or is there something damaged in that wiring harness? With the guide component test, you can actually test that component and harness to make sure it is the component or the part. So here in the guide component test, we've got the operation, the location, as well as the connector and what it looks like, and then a pin out of the connector. You go back, DC voltage test. We've got step-by-step -step directions of how to do the test. And then also you've got your connector and pin out, hit view meter. And with the directions up at the top, you've got the meter that shows up. So you can actually see what you're supposed to be doing while you're watching the meter. I was at a body shop not too long ago to go do a demo. When I showed up, they said, Snappy, we ain't got time for you right now. We've got this minivan over here that's just kicking our tail. And I said, well, what's going on with it? Well, they were getting throttle position sensor codes left and right. They'd already replaced the throttle fly-by-wire accelerator pedal. They're about to replace the throttle position sensor on the motor itself. I said, well, I'm here, I've got the Varus here, let's go and see what's going on with it. When we were looking at the component information on the Varus, it said best testing location wasn't at the throttle position sensor, it was actually down at the computer. Well, the computer of the vehicle was actually in the fender that got hit. It had a bad ground. They were chasing this down, replacing components when they just had a bad ground. Turned hours that they'd been spending on this into about a five minute fix. So very useful, the four channel scope for body shops. As well as meeting the OEM requirements for pre and post diagnostic scans, because the Verisage workstation runs Windows 7 embedded, you can also do your estimates right here on the Verisage workstation. Runs on Windows 7 embedded, so that means any estimating software that you use, you can use right here on the Verisage. Same software that you've been using there in the office, right out in the shop. This gives you more accurate and faster estimates. Come out, you see the exploded view, you've got the vehicle right there in front of you, you know that tab on that fog light's busted, there is no going back and forth and writing it down and it reduces the amount of work that you have to do. So this is a great time saver. A lot of shops use the Verisage workstation as a check-in, check-out station. Vehicle comes in, write the estimate, switch over to the scanning software, do the diagnostic health scan, send it off to be repaired. On the way out, scan the vehicle again, make sure all the codes are completed, any calibrations are done that need to be done, switch back over to your estimating software, go over it, make sure everything got done right, send it down the road. So the question I get all the time is, John, it's great that the manufacturers want this pre and post diagnostic health scan, but how am I gonna get paid for this? I'm doing work, I gotta get paid for it. Well, we're gonna give you the tools to get paid for it. 
All you need is the position statement from the manufacturer as well as the pre and post diagnostic health scan that you'll get from the Varus Edge whenever you do the scan itself. Well, that's all you need to send off to the insurance company and get paid. When talking about getting paid for pre and post diagnostic health scans, I want to talk to you about return on investment. So the average number of, of vehicles the shops in my area see is about 20 cars a week. So we'll say that half of those cars have position statements associated with them, and we'll say that they're only doing the post scan, they're not doing the pre-scan as well. So 10 cars a week at on average $95 a scan, that's almost $50,000 a year in profit. Now, that's not just an extra add-on, that's an extra revenue stream for most shops. One of the shops that I set up with that has been doing this pre and post diagnostic scan for a while now, they see 30 cars a week and they scan every car that comes in the door and they do a pre-scan and a post-scan. So they charge $95 for the pre-scan, $95 for the post-scan. So at 30 cars a week, at $190 a car, that's almost $300,000 in revenue from pre and post diagnostic health scans. That's not counting anything else that they do with that scan tool. It's not counting the efficiency that they've picked up from being able to do estimates out in the shop. It's not counting the way that he runs his shop now because he's moved from being in a bubble out in the lobby to being in the shop involved with his employees. It's changed the dynamics of his business. So what's the takeaway from this? Manufacturers want you to do a pre and post diagnostic health scan. Insurance companies are willing to pay for the pre and post diagnostic health scan. The Verisage workstation is the tool that will help you do the scan as well as produce the report. It also has the scope to help you test components if you get in that predicament of do I have a bad part or a bad harness. And also, you can do your estimates out in the shop. And it's the same software, estimating software, that you were using the day before. My name is John Davis and I'd like to thank you for taking some time to learn about pre and post diagnostic health scans and how the Varus Edge can help you meet those needs as well as meet other needs that you'll see in your body shop. And if you'd like to learn more about pre and post diagnostic health scans and how the Varus Edge can help you meet those needs and others, please contact your local Snap-on representative and we'll be more than happy to help you out and answer any questions you might have. Thank you very much. <music>